Hey, Ben Norman here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you all about SEO KPIs and how you can assign those to various different stages of the sales funnel. We know when it comes to SEO that one of the issues can be, well, you know, what's working, what's not, well, how does this attribute to this? Well, this is an easy way around that. You basically attribute different stages of the sales funnel and you factor in different SEO KPIs to each various part of the sales funnel. You can track all of them, a few of them, whichever way you want to cut it. But if you're responsible for SEO and reporting on it, then including a few of these KPIs and attributing them in the different stages of the sales funnel can be a really smart way of showing what's working and how what's working is having an effect on the overall bottom line. So when we're mapping it against the sales funnel, I'm looking at the following stages. I'm looking at awareness, engagement, acquisition, and conversion. We're then gonna map the various different SEO metrics, reporting metrics across to that part, the sales funnel, which will help get you more buy-in from the powers that be. So when you're reporting on metrics, not only are you reporting on metrics that are important to you, you're attributing them to the sales process and that sales funnel, and you're gonna find that people will probably buy in a lot more than previous. So let's start with the awareness side of the sales funnel. So for this, we're gonna be looking at our organic uh, our overall organic visibility. We can look at number of rankings within the top 10, you know, branded, unbranded, um, search traffic. We can also look at organic link clicks. All of these things we can use to kind of attribute to that awareness stage and say, well, that is leading people into the site or we're giving, you know, there's much more visibility there. Therefore, there is a much wider net in order for people to fall into at that awareness stage. So before we move on, I'd love to know, are you currently mapping across your SEO KPIs to the sales funnel? Yes or no, let me know in the comments below and let's get on to the next one. Next, we're gonna look at the engagement side of the sales funnel. And for this, number one has got to be bounce rate. We wanna be looking at bounce rate and making sure that's not creeping up. We want that creeping down or staying the same. Ultimately, we do not want people hitting the site and then hitting the back button and clearing off because it's just showing that it's not relevant to them. They're not liking what they see, so we don't want that to be happening. Also, you wanna be looking at the total number of sessions and also the session time um, per visit. All of these can kind of come into this stage of the sales funnel. So next, we're gonna move on to the acquisition stage of the sales funnel. And for this, we are gonna be looking at things like goal completions. How many goal completions were there that we can attribute to SEO? You know, what is the conversion rate of those goal completions? You know, look at the data surrounding this and we can attribute this into the acquisition side of the sales funnel. And lastly, we're gonna be moving on to the conversion side of things. And this is where we're gonna be looking at our conversion numbers. So we can obviously look at straight up conversions that are attributed to SEO. We can look at the um, conversion rate. We can look at the overall values. So look at the conversion values of um, organic SEO. You know, what's that doing? You know, we can chop it down in various different ways as long as we're filtering. So that kind of gives you a bit of an idea of how you can use the different SEO metrics and assign them to different stages of the sales funnel in order to basically make sure that you're reporting, when you're reporting to other people, you're actually able to attribute this reporting back to kind of almost the sales side of the business. And what you'll probably do is find you're gonna get a lot more buy-in as a result of just tying back the metrics to the sales funnel. So as always, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, make sure you drop it a like. Be sure to subscribe for videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.